Now we're going to get into the topic of electropneumatics, okay? And when we start introducing electricity, we start using the top half of the um, didactic board, okay? And we're going to label a couple of key, um, I call just just boxes, okay? We keep a couple of key key boxes um, that work independently along the board. And the very first one we're going to look at is basically really simple, just a power supply. Okay, this gets connected into our mains here with our mains plug. Um, and then we can turn on with our switch here, you'll see we get power. Um, so we've got a 24 volt supply now live in this box. And we can use this box to distribute power, um, 24 volts, wherever we need it. And generally, you can see up here we can get our positive voltage, um, our plus 24 supply, and then we can grind it out down to zero to complete our loop. Um, for our 24 volt, and we can do that on either side, and we also have a ground here. Okay, so for zero volts, 24, and ground. Okay, so we can get our full loop um, going around. Um, and the ground is useful if we're bringing in um, any other power supplies, like um, a PLC that has its own power supply. We'll need to ground all those together. The next box we'll look at is one of our input boxes, okay, and this very simply is a switch box, okay, so we have a number of switches, um, we have three, three switches here, and um, you'll see two of them are push button, and one is a detent push button, so that will stay in when I push it, so you've got to operate it to turn it on, and operate it to turn it off, here, you just operate it, it will go on, and then when you release it, it will go off, and um, we have got along the top, um, and I'll try and make this as clear as possible. Um, we have got just a supply um, along the top, so we can get 24 volts along the top here, um, and we can bring them down to zero down here. Um, so what happens a lot of the times is we simply, the very first thing we do is we join our power supply across, um, and we join our zero volts down across. So that means we don't have to keep coming back um, to the 24 volt supply. We now have got um, 24 volts all along here. So anywhere I take out of um, these, you'll see with the black lines are all joined together. I'll get 24 volts. And anywhere I plug in along here, I'll be able to connect them to zero volts. So it saves us having to constantly go back to this bo uh, box. We can get them anywhere here. Also um, along this box, you'll see um, the symbol for a lamp. Okay, and that is a lamp in behind the switch. And you'll see that illuminate when we operate that in a moment. And then, as I said, okay, there's three three switches, and each switch, you'll see there's the symbol for the switch, um, and that is, you'll see the little notch there for the detent compared to just the push button here. And then we have um, this switch operates all these contacts. See the dash line it operates all these um, contacts here, and we've got four. I suppose positions okay we have two normally open positions you'll see they're normally opened and we have two normally closed positions that we can wire this switch in okay um, and then that is the same for um, this switch down here two normally opened two normally closed two normally opened and two normally closed okay so uh, first things first we'll just look at a basic circuit to supply power um, to that lamp maybe in behind uh, in behind the switch and we've got to follow the black lines black lines are very important and we know from electricity we want to try and make a closed loop um, with this uh, circuit so that we can get a full 24 volts flowing through it so what I want to do is I'm going to tap in at 24 so I know I can get 24 anywhere along here because I've joined it across from the power supply and I'm just going to bring 24 in um, in on one of my lamps Okay. So 24 um, power supply has now been brought just into the top here. It's going to go through this lamp and then out of the lamp, you'll see there's no more black, so it's not joined to anything else. Um, that's its own separate lamp down here. And um, We're going to come out of that lamp. So we're just going to plug in and then we're going to bring it down to ground. And you'll see now the lamp is on because I've got a closed loop. So we've got 24 coming in, goes down here through the lamp and out down to zero or down to ground um, and now the lamp is on and indeed I can do the same for 
my other lamp down here. Okay, so they're all isolated. You'll see the black lines are very important on these boxes because they tell you kind of where everything's connected. So you'll see there's no black line there, so that's why I can jump across that. That turns on that light. So you get the kind of idea of what way we set up our loop and what way we want to work around it. Um, another thing I suppose is that I try where possible, anywhere I'm connecting in with 24 volts, so I have like a live signal, I usually use red and then when anytime I'm going just to my ground I use blue. Just allows fault finding um, to be a little bit easier. Um, sometimes if we do have them available we'll use black cables for the in-between parts. So we'll just use these for signifying 24 and signifying 0. Um, and then the black can do the connections in between, but sometimes we don't always have that um, available to us. So them little lights are like outputs for us. Um, and what we can do then is we're going to look at, so we're going to take them out, and we're going to look at how the switches operate, both in a normally opened and normally closed scenario. So it, it works again um, the same way. We want to bring 24 volts uh, into the top of one of our switches, uh, and that is a normally... Um, that's a normally open switch because you see the contact is open there. So power is here. Then when I close this switch, that contact will close over and then it'll bring power down to here. And what we're going to do is we're going to take power and just get another another wire here. We're going to take power out of my switch into my lamp just to give us a little light um, so we can see an output actually happening and then we're going to go down to ground. So what's happening here again, we, we've brought power down to the top of the switch. When the switch gets closed, when it gets closed, power will be brought down to this wire, which comes across over to our lamp, which goes through our lamp, and then a full loop down to our zero volts and home. So we've got a nice flow of electricity there. So when I turn on this, you will see the light goes on. And then when I turn it off, the light goes off. Okay, so anytime what happens along this bank, so with this dash line, once I operate that switch, once that switch is closed, these close over for the normally opened, and the two normally closed ones then open out. So all the switch, the, the lines kind of reverse themselves. So these will close in, you can see that, close in, and these two will open. So let's just look at it in the normally closed scenario. So you'll see. If I bring it over to normally close switch, switch, the light will start on because power is able to flow because those contacts are connected. So flow down from 24 through the switch into the lamp down to zero and home. So the light stays on. Now when I operate it, that little contact is now opened and that's why the light has gone off. We turn that on. So, so that happens the same um, for down here same thing happens once you operate this button all those arrows will either join across or open and then when I release it they will fall back into their rest and position so hopefully that makes sense so that's how we use um, our kind of input box and um, we saw we've well we've three outputs there this little lamp uh, indicators to let us know there's some visual outputs and um, but predominantly we use this for our input switches um, that we want to mimic over here we've got an output box and this works very similar again um, let me just disconnect everything from from here so again we want to bring power over to our output box and we now have so I've just joined them boxes up together we now have power all along here and we also want to join our zero volts along the bottom so now we can get zero volts all along here so we don't need to be jumping back to here or jumping back to our power supply and all on the outputs that we have is we've got again some lamps some indicator lamps that we can operate and we have got a small buzzer and as I said the the lines lets us know what's connected and uh, ultimately keeps us right in setting up the circuit so if I wanted to turn on that buzzer it's very straightforward all I need is power into one side and um, there's no polarity on it and then we just need to connect it through to ground so that uh, power 24 volts is flowing through it and you'll hear it there very annoying 
but you'll hear it, um, you'll hear the buzzer operating. So that's how that works, quite straightforward. For the lamps, you will see um, if we connect in on each, either one of these plugs, we'll still be connecting into our lamp because they're both joined together. So if I connect in there, that brings power down and once there's a ground supply either down here or up here um, it will be connected because all those grounds you see the lines the grounds are connected in okay and um, so that's why we're able to get light so I can get light on that one or indeed in here or indeed in there um, they're all connected okay and um, so them two are connected for that one and these two are connected for down there and all these grounds are connected um, so very easy to get power across for um, for those bulbs and they're just little outputs visual outputs that we can utilize along with the buzzer if we wanted some um, audio output so there are three core boxes that we're going to use in electro pneumatics we've got the switches for our inputs we've got some lights and a buzzer for our outputs and of course we've got our power supply where we're taking everything from um, so they're just electrical components really, not much to do with pneumatics at the moment, um, but we will start looking at bringing these switches in order to operate valves down here and then create some action and even turn on some lights. Um, we will look at that in another video. Okay, thank you.